Hey everybody! So I did a video this morning on my fitness page, but uh, I was sweaty as anything, and I wanted to do one uh, for you guys too, in case you're not over there following. I know that a lot of you have been following my journey. Um, let me uh, get rid of this volume. I've been following my journey for a while, and some of you have and taking the journey with me and doing the programs that I do as I do them. And I know that some of you really appreciate when I talk about my meal plans for the week so you can kind of hear what I'm doing and maybe think about trying it for yourself or getting some ideas. So I wanted to talk especially about this week because I'm super excited. I actually just finished watching the video that my trainer puts out every week before we start the week's worth of workouts and eating and everything. And she gives us her best tips. And and so this week is actually the final week of my program. It's been a three-month program. And what we do at the very end of a lot of our fitness programs is what we call peak week. And sometimes it's called hell week. Sometimes it's called mm -hmm. peak week. But peak week is really special. And really what I learned last year in doing my first bikini competition was that it's really that week that you take right before competition to get your best results, to dial in your nutrition, to get the proper... Um, push at the end with your fitness. And so what we're doing, I've learned now that this is called carb cycling that we'll be doing in peak week. And really the idea is to shred down your body. Hey, Amanda, tap into your glycogen levels um, and burn that extra fat that's left there. But you also have to make sure that you have your carbs in there, uh, enough fruit, enough healthy, um, good carbs that will keep you energized through those last few workouts. So I have one week left um, of this three-month program. And and so I'll be doing the carb cycling this week. So I wrote out, as I usually do, which has helped me tremendously in my weight loss, in getting the best body, is actually having a plan. And today, my um, coworker and I, Stephanie, we started a boot camp, an eight-week boot camp. And the big thing that I think that I was able to teach my clients in that boot camp was the importance of planning and prepping and doing as much as you can assuming that there will be things that come up during the week that you don't expect to happen. But the better you're planning and the better you're prepared, the better you'll be to handle those things as they come and stay on track as best you can. It's also a goal of mine for the week to actually follow the meal plan 100%. That has been something that has been extremely difficult for me um, for the last three years. I probably make a plan to be 100% and come in at about 80 to 85% every single day. But as you can see in the results I've gotten, that has been enough because it is so much better to plan, to shoot for the moon, and then fall a little bit short, but still be so much farther than you would have been if you didn't make a plan at all or had no idea what you were doing. So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be eating on the regular days and what I'm going to be eating on what we call the deplete days. And so the way that this carb cycling works for it's just one week, um, Monday and Tuesday, when I have my AAA workout and my cardio flow workout, I'll be doing the deplete um, day meal plan. And in that meal plan, I pretty much eat every two hours. Most of my meals are a vegetable, a protein, and a healthy fat. There is one meal in the morning that has my carbs. Oh, puppy. Um, and that's to energize me in my workout. So on deplete days, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, I'll be waking up and having spinach with egg whites and a piece of toast with peanut butter. Um, I have to be very careful with my peanut butter because I tend to overeat on that. So I am going to make sure that I am not overeating the peanut butter, not putting my teaspoon on the toast and then eating a tablespoon afterwards out of the jar or five. Um, so that'll be my pre-workout meal. And that means that I have to get up early enough that I can eat that meal. I also drink my Energize um, formula prior to my workout and give myself 30 minutes prior to starting my workout. Um, I don't have a problem with going right into my workout after eating. It's something I never did before this three month program, but I love it now. I can tell the difference when I eat prior to my workout than when I didn't before. 
Okay, so after my workout, um, on deplete days, I'll be still drinking my chocolate recovery formula, which has the branch chain amino acids, or if you've heard of BCAAs, and that's going to help my muscles repair. There's a 30-minute window right after I finish the workout that I can drink that formula, and it maximizes the repair of my muscle. Hold on. Pups, come on. Let's go. Oh, come on. Come on. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Okay, <laughs> so um, so I'll be drinking that. And then two hours later, which should be after I finish my morning class at the gym, I'm going to come home and I'm going to have spaghetti squash with tomatoes, a veggie burger, which I found I really love, and a little bit of olive oil. So that's my protein, my veggie, and my healthy fat. Um, so that's 10.30. Two hours later at 12.30, I'll be having my Shakeology. I like the vegan chocolate kind with um, some almond milk and water and then some carrots on the side. If I get courageous, I could throw a handful of spinach in my shake too. Um, then at 2.30, I'm going to do like a pseudo um, chicken parm or I don't know. I guess I don't know what I would call that. I'm going to do tomatoes. So I got to get some tomatoes at the store. Um, that I'll cut, maybe it's more of like a chicken caprese um, chicken, and I'm going to make that pretty plain, some sliced tomatoes, and some mozzarella cheese right on the top. So that sounds like a really good, um, what's that, 2.30 meal? And then two hours later, I'm also going to prepare this ahead of time. Uh, kind of like a chicken broccoli and ziti, but without the ziti, it'll be chicken with broccoli and olive oil. Um, one thing that my trainer did suggest is to pick vegetables that are very dense in water. So broccoli, cauliflower, cucumbers, bell peppers, that those ones will keep you fuller. Um, at night, at 6.30 or so, my plan is to have some kind of veggie, probably broccoli or um, asparagus or green beans with um, shrimp or salmon. Um, and some olives because I had to use this orange container which we usually put dressings in um, or olives, black olives. So, so that'll be my deplete days. On my regular days, same breakfast, spinach, eggs, toast, and peanut butter. After my workout, I get to have my recover, but I also get to have fruit with it on the regular days when we have the carbs. Um, let's see, when I get back from class, Lettuce, tomato, veggie burger, and I learned that I do like the veggie burger just on the lettuce with a little tomato inside. Um, sometimes maybe some um, like tomatoes with jalapenos, which I like. It's the Rotel. Hey, Cheyenne. Um, and some sweet potato and coconut oil, which is a great combo. If you don't eat butter anymore, then um, sweet potato with coconut oil is awesome. Yeah, you could put some cinnamon on there too. Let's see, and then two hours later, I will have actually like more like three hours later, about 1.30, um, some fruit, whatever kind of fruit, uh, and my Shakeology with almond milk. Um, then about 4, 4.30, when JJ gets off the bus, I'm going to have either celery or carrots, um, apple, and some avocado. Uh, if I don't have an avocado that's ready, I'll probably sub walnuts or some cheese with that. Um, and then my dinner on the regular days is going to be a salad with chicken or turkey and a piece of toast with butter and some dressing on my salad. So that is my meal plan for the week. Um, at the end of this week, I'll be uh, putting up my photos from the entire three-month program. And there was a big question at the end of the video that my trainer shared as to, you know, what's next? So we finished this. We feel really proud about ourselves um, for finishing, for accomplishing it. But you kind of feel like I started crying at the end of it. And so was she. At the end of this program, what do you do next? And I think that a lot of people... Uh, they're so rigid during the programs and then they let go at the end and they start to gain back weight or they completely lose it. And so I always make sure to have a plan for like the next three months. So I have my plan for the next three months. Um, I love to change things up completely. A lot of times when I haven't been doing um, a weightlifting program, I start to miss the weights. And we did have weights in this program, but I really love the programs where I 
focus on certain body parts and really do more of a traditional weightlifting program. So that'll be my next program. I'll be doing four weeks um, of beast mode. And I invite anybody to join me. I've created a calendar um, where we basically focus on a different body part each day. We have leg day, arm day, chest and tries, back and buys, shoulders, and we go through the body. And what I love about that program and the reason why I really love to share that experience and have new people join me is that I learned so much about weightlifting, proper form, my body, the different muscles in my body from that program. And so I really love to teach others and bring them through that experience too. I also saw the most change in my body from doing weightlifting. My back injury was completely helped, like 100% back pain for six years gone after I did this program. Um, And I also had a lot of knee issues at one point, and I haven't had any since doing the program and really strengthening my body all over. Um, And so that is a huge change. I also saw a six-pack after I started doing weightlifting too. What I love about it is that As we get older, sometimes we don't really want to do high impact things, but we know that we need the extra cardio. A lot of people feel that their metabolism slows. I feel like my metabolism has sped up as I've gotten older and done better in my workouts and created more muscle mass within my body. Um, But definitely building more muscle is great for your bones. It helps bone density. Um, And you can raise your heart rate without jumping around. You can sit there with some heavy weights and work hard and get the heart rate up. So I really love that too. So I'll be doing four weeks of weightlifting and anybody's welcome to join me. And then I'm completely switching gears. I'm going to start a fast paced yoga Pilates fusion program after that. And I'm probably going to do that for three to four weeks, um, possibly longer because I know I'm doing another program in June. (laughs) So, um, So I'm going to be doing either three or four weeks of yoga, and I'm switching from uh, beast mode eating, which for me is closer to 2,000 calories a day. Right now, I've been on maybe 15 to 1,800. I'll be bumping up to 2,000 calories a day. And then for the yoga program, I'm actually going to go back to vegan, a three-week vegan cleanse, um, which will be down towards 12 to 1,500 calories. So I feel that by switching it up so much um, is how I get the best results in my body. I see that In a weightlifting program, you need the food. You need the calories in order to to build the muscle. And then you might end up, though, with a little extra fat. And so that's when going to the vegan for me, I've seen that my body slims down completely. And doing something like yoga, I see my body just completely slim down. So that'll also give my muscles a little bit of rest from the intense lifting. Um, And then after that, We have a brand new program, which um, what I saw it today, I think it's called Lift 4. I think that was what it was called by Joel Freeman. And that'll be coming out in June. I'll learn more about it tomorrow at our quarterly Beachbody Super Sunday event. Um, But what my understanding is that it's four days a week, 30 minutes a day, um, hit lifting. So it is a lifting program with cardio and it is high intensity intervals. So that's all I know about it today, but I know I'm going to do it and I'm really excited. Hey Molly. And that one will also have a meal plan that specifically goes with it. And so that was another thing that I talked to my, my boot campers at world gym today about is that I need to see what their overall program is for their fitness. And we need to work together to figure out what they're doing each day because I can only help them figure out Um, where their food should be at if I know what their goals are and what kind of exercise they're doing because I want their food to be supporting their exercise and I want their calorie range to be supporting their goals. So um, I hope this was helpful in some way for me rambling on and on. Hopefully you took from it what it is that you needed to hear. Um, If you feel inspired to try Um, weightlifting or some kind of program or you want to try yoga or a vegan cleanse, um, I'm the person that you can absolutely talk to about it. I'm happy to point you in the right direction, get you started or support you completely in it and we can do it together. Um, So 
I will keep you up to date on how this goes and I am going to be relying on you guys to keep me accountable um, to sticking to this meal plan. So feel free to check on me and give me a hard time if you see me posting about chocolate that is not chocolate shakeology or chocolate recover. <laughs> okay, so, um, so that's it. If you have questions, um, go ahead and post them below or you can ask me or you can message me and I'm happy to answer them. All right, so you guys have a good night. Happy Saturday. Enjoy your Sunday. Bye.